inbounds at ski resorts in the mountains yeah. if you're going to do yeah. that. If it isn't avalanches and cougars, that's exactly. a, yeah. you don't need any more incentive. <laughs> to, a bottle of snow that's exactly right. <laughs> Stay inbounds. Valley rain, mountain snow is the uh, evening commute story, but earlier in the day, we actually had some valley snow. A cold pocket of air moved in and it was causing all sorts of issues on the commute this morning and through the midday. This is up at Park City Mountain. In fact, this is at the base of Payday. Snowfall still coming down. It's right on the cusp of that rain and snow at the very low elevations. But, oh, it's all snow up high. In fact, snowfall piling up over the mountains over the last couple of days. Look at this picture in from Alta Ski Resort. What a day. If you could get up there, find parking, and actually navigate the lifts, it was pretty incredible. Snowfall coming down hard all day long. Little and Big Cottonwood Canyon, it's stacked up. Now, these are just 12-hour totals, 13 inches up at Alta, 12 inches at Powder Mountain. Solitude did the same. Uinta lands, Mirror Lake Highway, 10 inches of snow overnight and into the day. Suncrest picked up 6 inches. Bountiful Bench, 2 to 3 inches. Brigham City picked up 2 inches. And most of that came when that cold, cold air hit there between about 9, 10 a.m. And it lasted through about 2, 3 p.m. Then it flipped back over to some rain and that's what we're dealing with right now. Southern Utah, it's been a little quieter today. There's been lots of clouds around, some mountain snow, but the valleys haven't been experiencing like we uh, the storminess like we had yesterday. Snowfall around Lim Lim Leamington and over towards Nephi this afternoon. And then sparse valley rain. You can see how it's tapered off in the last little bit. Mountains are getting a little bit of snow, and that's the case all the way into northern Utah and southern Idaho. But there is more to the west and our next storm is already over in California, waiting to turn the corner and expand into the state tomorrow. And it's going to once again bring moderate to heavy snow across the south as this next round pushes in. And it will light things up in the north. 36 in Logan is our temperature right now. You can see the rain mixing with snow, mixing back to rain. But there is a little bit of a lull coming. You can see a little tapering off of the snow storminess along the Wasatch Front as well as in southern Utah. But when this low gets closer, it's going to pick up a surge of moisture. You can see it getting southern Utah early tomorrow morning, and then it pushes north. It'll be a scattered snowfall event across the north, moderate snow over the south tomorrow, and then a second low drops in from the northwest, keeping things energized for Friday, keeping a chance of storminess going all the way into Saturday, especially across southern Utah. So let's tackle the Thursday-Friday piece. Wasatch Front, generally one to two inches. It's not a huge snowstorm. It's the valleys get one to two, but the mountains, an additional foot to a foot and a half across northern and southern Utah. That's on top of what's already fallen. Looking for storminess to redevelop tomorrow in southern Utah and kind of push north during the day. So the morning hours, more in southern Utah, and then the midday and afternoon hours, more in central and northern Utah. St. George seven day, rain around tomorrow, a little rain snow mix potential Thursday when some cold air gets there, then it all goes away, stays cool through Monday, but plenty of sunshine to finish the weekend and start next week. Northern forecast tonight, Mountain snow will start to wane just a little bit. The valleys will get a bit of a lull. But during the day tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies, some isolated snowfall. Likely we'll get about a half inch to an inch of snow tomorrow, then another inch of snow on Friday. So not big, but just enough kind of falling. Gone by Saturday, Sunday. 40s return Monday, Tuesday. The mountains, huge winners in this storm cycle. Coming up at 630, I'm going to show you a snowpack. Best snowpack levels of the entire year right really? now. Yeah, it's really good. Okay, I believe it. All right, yep. thanks, yeah. Kevin. You bet. All right, Sam, there was talks.